They have been praying. And if the fire falls like it fell yesterday, that's not the right word. When the fire falls like it falls yesterday, I would not have you think that it was all because of me. Some of these folks have been fasting, praying endlessly. And when we pray, there's only one solution. God answers. Can you just help me clap your hands, celebrate every one of them for your efforts, for your financial giving, for all that you did. The Lord bless, honor, and reward your labor of love. If you have your Bible, 1 Kings 18. Um, sometimes I speak fast, sometimes I speak slow. Now I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to pick up space, but I can't. So, First Kings 18, and then we read 24 to 39, and then I'm reading Hack chapter 2, 1 to 4. First Kings 18, 24 to 39. And the Bible says, Then you call on the name of your girls. Now, this is the battle of the girls. Uh, this is the battle of the, this is a supernatural battle. And you and I are enlisted to a supernatural battle. And uh, so Elijah went and told them. And said, see, you guys, I'm done with you serving Baal and um, Asherah. That's the goddess and all of that. Let's decide. Let's see who is, whose God brings results. And then he said in 24, Then you call on the name of your girls and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire is God. So all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. Now Elijah said to the prophet of Baal, choose one bull for yourself and prepare it first. Don't forget that when they worship Baal, they use bull. So he was, he was fighting them on their own terrain. All right, choose one bull for yourself and prepare it first for you are many. And call out the name of the Lord your God, but no fire, but put no fire under it. So they took the fire which was given them and they prepared it and called out the name of Baal. From morning even to noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, no one answered. Then they leaped about the altar which they had made. And so it was, at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. Either he is meditating or he is busy, or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. So they cried aloud and called themselves, as was their custom, with knives and lances, until the blood gushed, until blood gushed out on them. And when midday was passed, they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. But there was no voice. No one answered. No one paid attention. Verse 30. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench and around the altar large enough to hold two seers of seeds. And he pulled the wood in all that called the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood and said, Fill four water pots with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. Then he said, Do it a second time. And he said, Do it at all time, and they did it at all time. So the water ran all around the altar. And he also filled the trench with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. And Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, and I have done all these things at your word. That means there was first an instruction before he did all he did. All right. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that you are the Lord God, and that you have turned their heart back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell. Someone said the fire of the Lord fell. And consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust. And he licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, a generation is looking for proof. When all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. Acts chapter 2. And then we read 1 to 4. Acts 2, 1 to 4. Very popular portion of scriptures. I just want you to read it with me. Acts 2, 1 to 4. If you don't have a Bible in church, it's on the screen right now. All right. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord. That means it was 49 days after the resurrection of Christ now. They were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. 
then there appear to them divided tongues as of fire and one sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak with other tongues and the spirit gave them utterance. if you can speak in tongues can you begin to speak in tongues right now and that's not how we speak here you speak loud you speak first you speak intentionally Thank you, Father. Amen. So for a few minutes tonight, as we are at Pentecost, I will be speaking on God's fire fuel us. God's fire fuel us. God's fire and then fuel, E-R-S. God's fire fuel us. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you because the entrance of the word gives light and understanding unto the simple. Father, as we listen to your word tonight and as we pray, Confirm your word. Confirm your word. Shine your light upon our heart. Set us on fire for you. Make us an invading army. Let there arise from this place an invading army. It's our prayer tonight that we will no longer defend, but we will invade territories, we will invade nations, we will invade churches. We invade our cities for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. It's the desire of God. As I speak, you can pray. You can do as you wish. If you want to stand up, it's your father's house. If you want to scream and shout, it's your father's house. If you want to lie down and begin to pray, it's your father's house. Whatever you choose to do tonight, in his presence, is freedom and liberty. It's the desire of God that in we are in relationship with him and that we remain connected with him. Connection with God is what we call prayers. Therefore, the height of prayer is consistent spirit connection with God. Consistent spirit connection with God. You being in tune with the heart of God. You knowing what God is saying per time. You having the ability to decipher, to know what is in the heart of God at this time. Today at this prayer conference i want to build on yesterday's discourse yesterday we learned what happened when god's fire fall pfm said that and we learned also the fire of vivency pj said that what a time we had yesterday what a time we had today i want to tie this entire thing up i want to ask her some questions how do i maintain my fire what ingredients are needed if i'm continually going to fan my flames to fire if you are like me, then you love what happened when God's fire fall. You love how he feels. You love how you dance. You love how you faint. You love how time passes. You love revelations and the visions you have when God fire falls. But if you are also like me, you don't just want to burn. You want to live in the flaming fire. Now, I want to begin by laying a foundation that you found in the New Testament. Believers, the initial deposit of God upon our life is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. There is a baptism on fire. A fire of God is upon every spirit baptized believer. According to Acts chapter 2, from verses 1 to 4 that we read. The Bible says, and the Holy Spirit came upon them. That was according to the promise of God. A cloven tongue of fire was seen upon them. And there came a fulfillment of what John said concerning jesus said there's one amongst you who will baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire luke chapter 3 and verse 16 and the holy ghost came and fire came at pentecost why because it was prophesied and it must happen as it was said because bible says god watches over his word even to perform it but i happen to believe that baptism doesn't last a man all of his time i mean that baptism does not guarantee a lifetime of fervency I do not think that every believer who was in the early church continued in fervency all their life. I do not believe so because men must be men. 
I've seen people go to conferences and then they burn for God. And then I've seen them after weeks, they look for the fire again. If they do, for, if they do burn forever, there will not be a need for Paul to write his proti Timothy. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 6, it said, Fan to flame, the gift which was in you by the laying on of my hands. That means there was spiritual fervency. There was giftings. There were things, deposits, uh, put in him. And another translation says, Fan into flame, the dying embers in you. It means that there are embers. Fires of God soon become embers if nothing is done with them. A consistent foiling of God's giftings of fire on the inside was what Paul was suggesting. If not, we'll become nothing but embers. Men who, was, who were once on fire for God. I don't know whether you have met men such as that. Men who were once on fire for God. They are men full of stories. Men full of stories and histories. Men who make God look like the God of yesteryears. And you are asking what is God doing today? What is God doing in the now? And that leads me to the topic of today, God's fire for us. What is God's fire? God's fire is the symbolic manifest presence of God upon a life. The symbolic manifest presence of God upon a life. When God came upon Monsignor, how did they know? Fire upon the mountain. How did they know when Elijah told them that his God would answer? Fire burned upon the altar. How did they know God was present? Even at the time Solomon dedicated the temple, the fire of God again was present. Therefore, God's fire is the symbolic manifest presence of God upon a life. When you see a life burning for God, uh, you see a life who God is present with. How do you know it? It is marked with explosive power. How do you know that somebody carries fire? It's not because you see the fire. It's because you see this mark upon them. Explosive power. Fervency. Empowerment. Enablement. An all-consuming passion. Initiated by God. An all-consuming passion. You just know that you can't stop them. You just know these ones are sold out to God. No matter what you say or do, these ones are for God. What is set in their spirit is God. It doesn't have a source on the outside. So it's not Makali or all those shoutings. Those are outward manifestations of the deposit on the inside. A source is internal, but it explodes on the external. And then number two, what is a fueler? Because I say God fire fuelers. What is a fueler? For this discourse, I just have one definition. And what is that? One that supplies fuel or feeds fire. That's what a fueler is. It's something that supplies fuel or feeds fire. One that supplies fuel or feeds fire. That suggests two things. Number one, they supply fuel. Without which the fuel, the fire will die. The fire cannot even start without them. And then number two, they feed the fire to ensure it is raging. Therefore, the baptism of the Holy Spirit may be on your life. But because it's there, it does not guarantee anything. There must be fuelers that ensure that this fire does not just stay. This fire increases and becomes explosive. A material such as wood, fire, such as wood, gas, oil, are what you call fuelers. So today I'm speaking on God's fire fuelers. Listen to this. I don't care how exotic your car is. I don't care how anointed you are. If you have a car that does not have gasoline, your automobile will not run. No matter how much you pray. Why? Because it needs the gasoline to run. Someone listening to me. I've seen motorcyclists, tricyclists. I've seen taxi drivers stop without getting to their destination. Why? Because fuel has finished. <laughs> and when fuel finished, that's the end. I have also seen spiritual journey aborted. Why? Because there was not enough fuel to take them to destination. If the fuel finishes, that is your destination. May your fuel never finish. I have seen spiritual fervency become stale and cold. Men who now blame God. Prayer warriors who cannot say amen again. Bible students who can no longer find their Bibles. Evangelists who are tired and weary. 
something has happened to them. Their flames have gone out. Only embers remain. Listen, dear friends, as there's no guarantee, there's no guarantee state of coldness. There is also no guarantee state of aversion. It all depends on you. So you never attain a height where you say, I will never be cold. I can never be cold again. You have to keep doing it. It is left for you to consistently fuel the fire of God upon your life. God will give you the deposit. But it is left for you to consistently, to continually fuel the fire of God even upon your life. Let me quickly move on and begin to wrap this up. I want to give you certain fuel as you need as you journey in true life, as you make this spiritual journey, navigation, sir, and as we begin also to pray. Number one, there must be a consistent connection with the source of fire. A consistent connection with the source of fire. Psalm 36 and verse 9, Bible says, with you is the fountain of life. With you is the very source of life. If the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit, is a, if the Holy Spirit is the source of fire, then you need a continual work with the Holy Spirit. Because uh, when you are connected to the source, it guarantees supply. If the Holy Spirit is the spirit of fire, then we must do all we can to stay connected with him. Elijah was connected with God. So connected that he didn't die. So connected, he, he left on a chariot of fire. That was how connected he was. He was so connected, he did not see death. I'm not talking about spiritual death or physical death. He didn't see any of that. He just, just got translated. Fire just came, uh, parted, the, kind of parted the ass uh, from the supernatural. That was Elisha from him. Uh, and then took him away. And they were looking for him everywhere. They could not find him. What happened? Fire translated him. Now I trust much possible not to teach methods but principles when we talk about your work with the holy spirit you need to find what works for you Benny he taught a method and said say good morning holy spirit he just wants you to talk up to the holy spirit about mundane things so that when it comes to the important things you can begin to talk to him but you need to learn to talk to the holy spirit and stay connected with him because he's your source i don't know what method works for you but whatever method you have discovered works for you you need to keep working that method it's not a method you use today and you forget. And you try it once in a year because you have exam or you want to get married. Are you someone listening to me? It's a method you need to continually and consistently use. Whatever happens, stay true to him. Let me give you this for a penny. You don't need to give me change or pay me back. Nothing douses the fire of God like disobedience and his twin brother sin. If you see people who once born for God are no longer burning disobedience. Disobedience. That was what terminated the spiritual journey of Saul. God said, I would have built for you a dynasty. He didn't have anything. Why? Disobedience. All sins are nothing but disobedience to God's laid down command. That's why I call it his twin brother. One thing stood out in the book of Acts. And that was the fact that Paul was consistently dedicated to following after, after the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit decided to start and stop. He would not go to any nation. He couldn't go to Asia Minor because the Holy Spirit forbade him. Forbid him. Number two, a clean and a protected act. Listen to this. A clean and a protected act. I'm not only speaking about a clean act. A fueler you need is a clean and a protected act. Why? Because a clean art is a combustible art. It's an art that is flammable. When you buy some things, they tell you highly what? Flammable. A clean art is highly flammable. Why is this important? Because fire burns upon substance. Fire burns upon elements. Fire burns upon water. Fire burns upon the land. One fire of God will burn into burn upon your heart. And your art must be combustible. Your art must be flammable. The art is so important to everything that God will do for you and in you. If God will deposit his fire in you, which is his first resource, God will give you, then you must have a clean heart. The psalmist said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. 51 verse 10. And there are two things that are there. A clean heart, and a renewer. 
of a steadfast spirit. Under translation, I call it a loyal spirit. Therefore, I love the way the TPT put it. He said, keep creating in me a clean heart. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desire. Ready to please you. It means that daily, God must keep working in your heart. Keep creating in you a clean heart. After every day, I ask myself, did I say it well? Did I respond well? Did I ask that person? Holy Spirit, are you fine or not? At certain times, it takes me days to recognize his voice and to know what I did was bad. But every time he says you spoke wrongly, I say I apologize. I say I'm sorry. Why? Because your heart must be checked. If you ever wonder why two persons prayed for fire and they was praying at the same time and one got affected with God's fire and the other person was not affected by God's fire, it is a question of the heart. Psalm 89 and verse 20. Act 13. The Bible says, I found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him. Acts 13, 22. When somebody else was narrating it, he did not say, he said, I have found David my servant, a man after my own heart. Why? Because he will do the will of God. The starting place of a life of devotion is a heart that pants after God. And many fires die because their heart is blemished. Listen to this, a clean heart is a heart that beats after the redeem of God's heart. Your heart must beat after the redeem of God's heart. That means his pleasure must be your pleasure. Let your pleasure be my pleasure. Let your word be my life. Let your pleasure be my pleasure. Let your word be my light. Let your pleasure be my pleasure. Let your word be my life. <laughs> Until his pleasure become your pleasure. Until his word become your light. You are not ready. Every day you must say, Lord, let your pleasure be my pleasure. Let your word be my light. Let your pleasure be my pleasure. Let your word be my life. I said a protected act. 423. He said, guide your heart. Why? Because in this world, in church, in ministry, in systems, are things that will destroy your heart. Therefore, you must guide it. Another translation: put a garrison, put soldiers on guard over your heart. Why? Because your fuel for eternity and for lifetime is dependent on it. Number three: true worship. True worship is the mark of those who seek and follow after Him. Listen to this. Your worship is the gas upon your fire. <laughs> your worship is your fragrance. Have you tried spraying? Don't try this at home. I'm just speaking. <laughs> Maybe you see a fire burning. Have you tried spraying a deodorant? What happens? The fire gets lit up more. It attracts it. The fire increases. Why? That's the work of that substance. As you begin to worship God, as you begin to press into his presence, God's fire is increased. Why? The deposit of the fire in you is attracted to the worship coming from your spirit. Worship is therefore not a song, it's the state of your heart. Worship is deeper than just singing, it is where the song is coming from. When it is connected to God, there is a fire that latches on from your spirit to God. And what happens? You begin to burn. The thing just catches fire. The primary thing you must do is to worship him. Yes, you must worship him uh, in the beauty of his holiness. Listen, when we praise God in the morning, it is not just motion. It is a ritualistic covenant that speaks. It is a ritualistic covenant that speaks. Uh, we are saying among other things that this day the Lord is my priority. Among other things, and I wake up in the morning uh, and I say, Holy are you Lord? Other people are making plans. All creation call you Lord. I'm saying Lord, today you are my priority. Today you are the reason why I breathe. Today you are my priority. You must learn to understand that those who have the fire of God consistently, they God as their priority, therefore they worship him. 
When you are in love, the person you are in love with becomes your priority. If he calls you by 7 p.m., you are angry because you are saying, why haven't you called me since morning? If you are in love with God, then you must keep calling him. You must keep worshipping him. You must keep worshipping him. Oh, shubarereho. Oh, shubarereho. Ka, bio, oh, see you. In the good times and the bad. You say, ka, bio, oh, see you. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Listen to this. God is not a father Christmas. Tell your neighbor, God is not a father Christmas. Is primarily to be worshipped, not to receive things from. I'm afraid of a generation that only see God for his hand. <laughs> for surely they shall see God, but they shall only see a, a dimension of him. Psalms 103 verse 7. Bible says, I show my ways to Moses, my act to the children of Israel. A generation seeks for his heart. Another generation seeks for his ways. Those who seek for his ways, they have his ways and his acts. Because God's method are his ways. God's principles are his ways. God's laws are his ways. You do not follow those things and do not see his acts. Listen, can I have very quickly, I want to show you something. John chapter 4 and verse 23 on the screen. Some of you think we came to seek God. But I want to show you a dimension of God. John 4, 23. Hallelujah. They were showing it before. When I was not sending them. <laughs> but the hour is coming. Read it very closely. I know you had it, a, a first class in Genesis 101. So let us read it closely. This is English. But the hour is coming and now is. When is it coming? Now. He said it's coming. But now he said now is. Present. So when is that hour? Now. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. <laughs> Listen, I know you've read that verse again and again, but I want to show you something now. There are those who are seeking God. There are those God is seeking. God is not not looking for you to seek him. True worshippers, God is the one on the lookout for them. He said the hour now is. And then verse 24, he said those who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. <laughs> now is. I want you to leave this place with one goal that God will be seeking after you. I don't know whether you are not tired of pursuing God. <laughs> There is another realm. He said, I have found David who searched. Who found him? He said, I have found David. He was the one seeking. Somebody is going to leave this place. After seven months, God will say, I have found Priscilla, my daughter. When God finds you, he recommends you. When God finds you, he lifts you. Until there is a finding by God, there is no promotion. Promotion is not something you receive because you pray. It is because God can trust you. True worshippers. I want you to have just one life ambition. I will worship God. You will see that generals, those who understand how this works, they tell you 87% of the time they are praising, worshipping. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. It's about the priority we give God in our lives. The intentionality of our praise, our thanksgiving. And the love of the Father that overflows in our hearts. Elijah was such a true worshipper. It doesn't matter what went on or what, the, what was going right or wrong in his life. He was just concentrated on this Jehovah. On this Yeshua. He was only interested on God. Devotion to the sure word. That's number four. If you want to fuel your fire, you need devotion to this sure word. 1 Kings 18, 36. 
He said it himself. He said, I have done these things as you have instructed. <laughs> that means Elijah understood that after God has said it, there is nothing left. Listen, the, the people who are going to be against us will be so many. It does not matter. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? For anybody who is looking for impact, there will be people doing the same business as you. It does not matter. There will be many creative people. It does not matter. There was so much against him, but God has spoken and he went on the word of God. Devotion to that sure word. What is he telling you right now? Elijah followed after God. Even though it wasn't easy, one fella you cannot do without is the word of God. We must again return to the word. Jeremiah chapter 20 and verse 9. Jeremiah 20 and verse 9. You and I must return to the word of God. To the word of God. What does he say? I will not make mention of him. He said I will not make mention of him. I will not talk about him anymore. He said, but his word was in my heart like a fire burning. Shut up in my bones. Listen, listen, listen. There are times I tell myself I will not say anything again. I will not talk again. <laughs> but because the fire is in the bones, I do not know when I start talking. I'm like, I'm like that prophet Jeremiah. He said, it's like fire shut up in my bones. Listen to this. You will read the word of God to a dimension. You will sit down like this. And you, something will burn away poverty in your life. It's not you. It is because you have caught a revelation of the word. The word I tell people is not just ink. The word is a spirit. The day that fire of the spirit joins into you and enters into you, something happens to you. Very important. We must become a generation again that returns to the word. 23, 29, Jeremiah. 23, 29. Say, it's not my word like fire. That does what? That burns. Like armor that breaks to pieces. It seems to me that we don't have fire because we do not have the word shut up in our bones. The more the word you have, the more the fire you carry. I tell people one short remedy for depression is the word of God. I found your word and I did eat them. It became a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. You can't find me sad. It takes a while. <laughs> the word would have come. It's not because I read it. It's deposited there. It became a joy and a rejoicing to my soul. Number five. Let's move now. You must have what I call a God obsession. A God obsession. Psalm 42 verse 1. As the deer pants after the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. This is the fire that affects your soul. This is the only fire that affects your soul. Your soul must be crazy about God. You will not last long in fervency except you are crazy about him. God must become your addiction. You see, people say, I I'm not addicted. Listen, I used to be addicted to watching football. But when the fire of God came, I was delivered. <laughs> Listen, there is a fire. You can't be addicted to him and be addicted to other things. It's called the fire of God. Somebody looked at me and said to me, I said, you, you, took the, you, you take this Christian thing too far. I said, it's not my fault. Jesus took his fathers by dying on the cross for me. It's an addiction, it's an obsession. I've not even gone as far as he has went. He went farthest. I cannot even reach where he went to. But that's the obsession. Ahab and his crazy wife could not understand Elijah. They could not understand this madman again. This crazy guy has come again. Why? Because there was a fire burning in him. They tried to press him down, shut him out. But there was nothing they could do to him. Why? Because the fire keep pressing him on. There is a fire that burns. Your family will know something has changed. There is a fire that you contact. Even your friends will leave you. You won't tell them. They will leave you. Those bad friends will just go on their own. There is a fire that comes into your heart and your spirit. You do not have bad dreams anymore. Why? Because God simply just take over. There are fire that comes masturbation ends somebody listen to me one guy came to see me weeks ago he was fast he was fighting pornography i opened the wall to him he said come he will do deliverance for you i opened the wall to him and i said go after i shared the word for one hour 15 minutes just the word one hour 15 minutes just one contact first contact one hour 15 minutes this was about four months ago Pornography died naturally. 
naturally, spiritually. Why? The fire of the world consume it. All this addiction will die when there is a God possession. All of us are crazy. It's something we are crazy about. You know, PJ was saying it yesterday. Everybody is passionate. It is what we are passionate about that differs. <laughs> My God, Elijah was a case study on madness for God, on devotion and obsession. The way he dressed, his manner. Whatever God says, that's what he does. My, it was Martin Luther Jr. that said, King Jr. that said, if a man has not discovered something to die for, he's not fit to live. I'm not preaching to you a message I'm not ready to die for. I'm not preaching to you that I'm not ready to make heaven. Let's stop making sense of some nonsense. There is a heaven and there is a hell. Are you listening to me? If there is no heaven and hell, this whole thing is not worth it. <laughs> there is a heaven and there is a hell. And on the last day, on the last day, only true believers shall be raptured. Listen, that is what keeps us pressing on. Because there are still millions untold. There is still a generation that needs to be delivered from the bondage of idol worship and insanity. Listen, when Agab was told Paul by prophecy, he said, they will put you in prison. Paul looked at them. He said, you people, what are you talking about? Prison. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm not only ready to go to prison. Act 21. He said, I'm also ready to die for this gospel. That's Jesus-centric. Since you are not eccentric, you must be eccentric for the gospel. They must tell you that this prayer is too much. It's okay. You are just starting. Until they tell you that you are reading what to God too much, you have not started reading. Until they tell you your prayer is too much, you have not started praying. Until they tell you that your evangelism is too much, you have not started evangelism. Somebody said I shouted too much when I was praying, when I was staying in my former house. I said the landlord knows he was not going to take a rent. There can't be house rent when I cannot pray. How will he come? Because Moti Tete don't let anybody lie to you. Don't let this pocket square and this thing efficient fool you. There is an active devil in the world. Did I tell you a retired devil? An active devil. He's still in service. I saw a video of a young chap who had taken Colorado and he was saying, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. How many of you saw that video? They had to put him in a locked place because he was telling me of somebody who took Colorado and jumped from a three story building. He just went, Ha! and died. You are telling me there's no devil at work. Destinies are being destroyed. Imagine th from three story building, you go down like that and you are still going to hell. They picked you on the floor, but your spirit had gone down. What a pain. There are friends you have who are going through that same thing. There are neighbors you have who are going through that thing. And you keep hugging them instead of you to keep praying for them. There is a hell, there is an active devil. That is why we must be obsessed about God. You must talk about him so much. People must tell you to calm down. When me and PJ is talking sometimes, I tell him, calm down now. Your voice, calm down, calm down. What? The passion must be there. When they start me, sometimes on this conversation, start me, two hours I'm still talking. Let us pray for souls. You are not coming. You think you have come here tonight to pray for fire for yourself so that your family can make it in life? What you dupe you are scammed. There is a fire you need. I told them three weeks ago that God forbid that all we pray for is so that we can have cars. People who don't have God have cars. We are praying for kingdom. It's a mandate. It's a fight. A kingdom against a kingdom. 
you must stand up and win you must wage the war you must take the frontiers of god further you must be an invading army you cannot be on the defensive i give devil alone the devil leaves me alone i don't touch him he does not touch me we just do our own thing you think it's about niceties you have read too much of google the devil is not a nice devil god just gave him permission concerning job in seven days he destroyed ravished the guy's life that's what the devil does except you stand Paul, Elijah, Elisha, John, Peter, Silas. God possessed people. Obsessed. And I say, let's just play with tongues. You must go loud and fast. In my name, I in my eki akale ba ne ne no. Brenda bele ba yada ba shege di da da saba. Says to him. Those people who are carrying those things, they, they know it's way. Ne manama ne yebo kake bete lava ye marwe de de valley alalo sabaya. Embrako ti lava. See. You went to walk. You, you can see that four of you are on the same position. And you know that the promotion has come, you only take one. And there's only one position on top. And you think they are joking. They have sat down under this mat and they are not prepared to stand. And here you are. You are saying we are quoting confession scripture, quoting scripture. There are all circumcised devils. There are devils that does not listen to phonetics. There are devil, devils that does, are not sandelic. There are devils that don't listen to semantics. You can't meet her in Matim, Tikiya, Nash, all those nonsense you are saying. Listen, there are devils that will wake you up. You stand on it. What is wrong? A generation must arise. A generation must arise. A company of intercessors must arise. A people who will say you will not go further to the gate of our churches. You will not go further into the gate of our homes. I tell people defense is not the best of attack. It's attack that is the best first of defense. Press in. What is it? Don't leave this devil alone. If you can kill you, will be dead by now. There is a wall around you. You need a number six. I feel like praying. You need to keep a fire filled company. Proverbs 27 17. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of another man. Iron sharpens iron. Listen to this, you will soon become your company. If you walk with water people, they will soon douse your fire. If you keep friendship with cold people, you will soon be as cold as freezer. Flee from the cold room of the world. Tarry with God's people in his fire room. There is a fire room. There is a heat room. Go look for people who will challenge you. Men who will take you to fresh depths with God. Was it not Philip that said to Nathaniel, I found Jesus. Go look for men who will take you to deeper levels with Jesus. Look for people like Barnabas who will say, Paul, you are wasting away in this place. Sir. Come, come, come to Antioch. There is a need for you. There's a need for your anointing. There's a need for your grace. There's a need for your power. Listen to this. Elijah did not have a company. He got frustrated. He chose heaven rather than remain on earth. I believe he just told God, See, I've lived in this fire enough. Send those chariots. Let them come and take me. I'm done. Listen to this. If you live alone, it's only a question of time. Frustration will come. And unfortunately, God may not send those chariots now. So you will see that that fire will die. That fire will become cold. You need to join yourself to a company of people. A company who prays. A people who wake themselves up and say, Ah, ah we are on all day. You have been sleeping since 8 o'clock till 8. What is going on? Arise, thou that sleep it. Ah, when I was coming from the church, I used to go. Eji loju onu wara eji, eji loju onu wara eji. Although we were all dead and sleeping on that pool, we said eji loju onu wara eji. Listen, oh God, there is a time for a generation to awake. Tell yourself, I need to awake. The Holy Spirit came and woke you up. You slept back. 4 a.m. You knew something. You just woke up. Your heartbeat increased. 
Everything increased. Yeah, move a lot, Tony. You go to that place. You wee wee, I'll be whatever you call it. Do your restroom. And you knew nothing came out really. You still went back to the bed. You were not sleeping for 30 minutes, but you continued. You labored in sleeping. How can we intercede? How can we pray? How can a generation be saved? Many of you are the reasons why your family is the way it is. I have no apologies. Many of you are the reasons why the church is the way it is. No apologies. Some of you are the reason why that poverty lingers. Some of you are the reasons of people who even died. He woke you up, but you are not a man. What man? What of the night? Night, you are sleeping. I know people who sleep during the day. I was talking to a lady. She said, I can go for 27 hours. What lie? Nobody. I looked at her. This one is not your wife. Let's read Acts chapter 13. Some things impress me in scriptures. Acts chapter 13. I hope you are not just smiling. I hope you are getting it. Acts 13. Can we have Acts 13? 1, 2, 3 on the screen very quickly. I want to show you something. Listen. Every time I read scriptures, I always pray, God, why not give me this company? Why did you send me to Nigeria? Why didn't I come in the days of Paul? Look at that company. Now there was at Antioch, in the church there. What did they call it? Prophets and teachers. You, you are a prophet. You don't have friends. Because it's fake prophecy you want to follow and car that you want to buy. That's why you don't have friends. You don't have to a company. He said prophets and teachers. Barnabas. See, what, they now began to enlist their CV. So I can know their name. I want you janka janka. See them? Barnabas and Simeon, who was named Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, and Manian, a relation of Herod the king and Saul. If you go to the next verse, the Bible tells us that God now says separate. God's instructions are quick to come in a fireful company. Listen to this. Sometimes you are so emotional that God will not talk to you about your own affairs. Because when he tells you that that guy is not yours, you will never listen. In fact, there are people here that I know that the one who they are dating is not their husband. But I can't tell them. I can't tell them. I can't tell them. In all good conscience, I can't tell them. If I tell them that I've lost a friend, I've lost life, I've, I've, I don't wonder. I'm praying for them that God will open their eyes. Is someone listening to me? But in that kind of company, are you telling me that Paul and Barnabas were not spiritual? God could have told them personally. Say now. He said, listen, now. Separate unto me. May God give you a company that will deliver you to destiny. May God give you a company that will deliver you to purpose. I know this is a generation that is individualistic. There is competition in families. Even in families. Not to now talk of church. But may the Lord give you a company of clean arts. A company of fireful people. A company of God's obsessed people. A company of destiny pursuers. And then number five, number seven. What do you need? God's fire. Two more. Just this one, the last one. Then you start praying. God's fire obsession. Let me say this to you. I am unapologetic about God's power. And I am looking for it. Is someone listening to me? Reverend George, a big boy, a father in the Lord. He looked at me one day and said, I will not pray for you again. Why? He said, Otik Baju, Otik Baju. I do not joke with God's father. Listen. Reverend Victor comes. I'm, I'm leading the protocol after I've suffered for five days. I go inside the place and I send the protocols out. Hey, brother. Come on, go, go. Reverend, sir. I might be no pray. And I need them. I am that desperate. I know levels and I know how I've been working. And I can tell you where I can trace every of those graces to. Do not lie and do not let anybody lie to you that you would. You say, eh, it's not power, it's statistics, it's strategy, it's method. Listen, spiritual battles are only won spiritually. Emotional battles are won emotionally. But God may give you spiritually a strategy to use to win emotionally. But many people are trying to win spiritually using the strategy of the world. You need 
to be pressing for God's fire. Let me say it the learning way in English. Be pressing for God's fire. Be pressing for God's every time you wake up. Ba bara re womi ayea bara la wa yo agbara ti pa o takoka Jesu Christi gba bara re womi you think I'm CSC is in this blood. Everything is in this. Uh, when I wake up, this morning, I don't know how many times I sang that song today. Bagbara re womi, aye agbara la wa yo. Agbara, si pa e shukoka, Jesu Christi ba, bara re womi. It's a heart cry. It's not a song. Is a heart cry. Is a demand. Is a demand. Is a demand. Some of you sing some song. I tell people. I, I, I went to choir. I was doing rehearsal one day, and they were singing. I went there. I said, "What are you singing?" I said, "You are doing. Uh, you are doing, trying to do this. Uh, you are doing ad libs." I said, "This is not a song. This is not a song. This is a prayer. It's a demand. Where you are demanding, you are not looking for the sweetness of your voice." Luke 9 1, he gave them power. He gave them power. 24 49, he warned them. He warned them. Say, do not go anywhere. Tarry until you are in deal with power from on high. Act 1 8, he gave them power. 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 First Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5. He said, Our word did not come to you in word alone. He said, But in power. Oh, Jesus again was speaking. He said, <laughs> These people will not believe. They will not. They will not believe. John 4, 48. He said, except they see signs and wonders. There is a generation that will not believe. They did not believe Elijah until fire fell. There is a generation that will not believe until they see evidence in your life. A generation that will not believe until you said it and it happened like that. A generation that will not believe until they see proofs, tangible evidences that God is with you. And then finally, give yourself to prayer. Sweet our prayer. <laughs> Men of God and woman of God, I speak to you personally. Give yourself to prayer. <laughs> prayer is the fuel that works like gas, it burns quickly and burns fast. You need to understand what I just said. Prayer is the element that works like gas. It burns quickly and it also burns very fast. That means that you will need to be changing your gas every time. That is why you and I need to continue earnestly in prayer. That you prayed about it does not mean you will not pray again. Why? Because it will burn out. The result, the fire it brings, will burn out. That's why you change the gas in your house. That's why you change the gas in the car, uh, in the air condition in your car. Why? Because it will burn out. Listen to this. The more the result you have in prayer, the more you need to pray because it takes prayer to sustain it. Many of us, when we have gotten a job, you know you are brave, and then you now sat down. The devil does not mind. He just put a limit in your life. He been a low joke, you see. Here you die. Here you rest. You will now be saying, Ha, God, 80,000, 80, sumi. Oluwa. After three years, Oluwa. Oluwa. But you are rest. Your life will change. Write this down. The day you take control of your prayer life. The reason the devil fights us mostly in our prayer life is because he understands the efficacy of our prayers. Scripture says, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man makes tremendous power available. When you want to sing at night, you rarely sleep. It's when you want to pray. thinking I should share something with you and I'm thinking I should not. But because I only had one voice to share it, I will share it. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. 
I want to lay a foundation here because I want to tell us what kind of prayer we are supposed to pray and we're going to pray tonight. It's called prophetic prayers. Every intercessor needs this in his life. Now, I want to lay those biblical foundations so that you get it. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. Habakkuk was speaking to God because there were things that were happening in the life of Israel that was contrary to the God they know. So there was questions. So he went to God with questions. The prophet Habakkuk. I've done the study of that book. He said, I will take my position and I will... Okay, they have changed the translation. That's fine. I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart. That means I will take position and I will sit. And I will watch to see what he will say to me. And what I will answer when I'm corrected. That means he's a watchman. He has asked something. He said, but I'm waiting for his response. So prayer is not only you asking. It's also you staying and saying, I want to see what he will say to me. And I will see when I am corrected. Some people's problem is not prayer. Some people's problem is going the wrong way. So when correction comes in the place of prophetic prayers, you are able to change. And life answers come. Now, number two. Scripture now. Before I, go to, before I tell you about what it is. John 16, 13 to 15. I want to show you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. John 16, 13 to 15. Marco Shambali, Balabado Shambali. Now, can you give me New King James Version? Let's just stick with that. All right. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Who is he telling? Before we go to 14, who is he telling? He's telling you. Is he telling prophet? Because when I say prophetic prayer, some people are thinking I have to be a prophet now. He's telling you. Is that not so? Every believer can work in certain levels of prophecy. At least the simplest and the basic levels of prophecy. Because prophecy 14.2 of, of 1 Corinthians is edification, exhortation, and comfort. Alright? The Holy Spirit has revealed. Now, what is prophetic prayer? Is that you can pray with revelation given to you by the Holy Spirit. Now, prophetic prayer is about having a conversation with God. It's not only talking to God, but getting what is on the mind of God. It is listening to learn what is on his heart. Prophetic prayer is mainly about the heart of God. Now, listen to this. Many fuel, many fire run out. Because believers go to a point, they do not have prayer point anymore. So I have witness. You don't have, a time, you don't have prayer points. There's money in your account. You are dating somebody. You are healthy. So you are thinking. And this is what happened. Because some of you will change countries. You will leave Nigeria. When you leave Nigeria, your prayer point is halved by 80%. I'm telling you. Because we have our own problem. You will stop praying that they will take light. They will carry light. Light will go. You know what you will do to get admission. You are not praying for admission. You see your children admission is said to so all of those things. So you oh, I need the faith in your long. Now, what you are telling yourself is because you do not understand. Now I want to explain some things to you. Many people fire die, like I said, because they don't have prayer points. Or their prayer points are not answered. Now, this is what you do when you want to engage God prophetically. At certain times, just tell God. Or just go into God's presence with nothing in your mind. Nothing in your heart. And just begin to worship him. And begin to pray in the spirit. Just keep doing it. Some people will have to go one hour. Some people will go 30 minutes. And then you begin to pick some signals in your spirit. That means you begin to pick the heart of God. And then he begins to tell you. Pray for some people. Now, prophetic prayers can be personal revelation. It can be ministry revelation, or it can also be the nation revelation. So he begins to tell you, you never thought about it. And then, he's, and then you just start seeing a picture of a person. And then you start paying for the person. You don't know what you are praying for. Why is it prophetic? Because it's futuristic. That person may not have even gotten there yet. That person may not even know what is going on. But the Holy Spirit is sharing his heart with you so that you can pray about it. Another way you can pray that prayer is that I've given you a revelation and I've said, go to Abuja. Your next job is in Abuja. That is God's prophetic word to you. Now you take that prophetic word and begin to pray about it. 
Lamba de Brakase Billy Adabab, go to Abuja. Open up. The land open up. But where do you go in Abuja? It is from praying that kind of prayer that the Holy Spirit begins to share his mind with you. Therefore, what am I saying? I'm saying we must become a people that just love the company of God. It is not a prayer list. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I did a prayer list. It's not a prayer list. Because a prayer list is what you think you need now. A God list is what God knows you need now. Many times, what we pray for as intercessors are complete nonsense. Why? Because we are trying to understand humanly. We are not seeing the mind of God as it concerns that matter. Therefore, you must pray because we do not know even as we ought to know. So you must start engaging your spirit because your spirit is an active being. Now, it takes spiritual to understand spiritual. Some people, you just think man saying nonsense. But... <laughs> It takes spiritual to understand spiritual. God tells you something, you pick it up and you begin to pray about it. The next time it will be stronger. The next time it will be stronger. Because whatever you recommend and whatever you amplify becomes amplifying your voice and in your head. So you need to learn to do that. Don't just say, eh, oh Lord, give me a phone. Oh Lord, give me a car. Oh Lord, give me a children. Oh Lord. All of those things are just, they are basics. Is someone listening to me? Is someone listening to me? There are depth and height. After I prayed, and then I begin to say, fire now for fire for now. Fire for now. When I started, I was not, it was not my intention to pray for anointing with fire. Are, are you not tired? Since you pray for anointing, what anointing has come? It's not in his book yet. Pray for what is in God's mind in the present time. I also know we are in my time, we are Pentecostals and we love to speak in tongues. So when we come to a place, what's the prayer point? God increases church. God increases church. You have closed your spirit. You have closed your heart. You are not hearing anything. No listening. Nothing. That is not spiritual intelligence. Oh, you will pray in tongues. Get me right. I'm not saying you should not pray in tongues. It's not right to, be, to pray in tongues. You pray in tongues. But your spirit man must always be open. Searching the inward earth. Searching the mind of God. Searching. I once listened to a man of God who said after what they prayed a lot like that, God told him that there was a demon covering even the church. And he said, now, today, lift Without inspired intelligence, you will not know. Your tongues does not give demons instruction many times because they cannot hear you. They are just afraid. They will run away, but they will come back. I'm telling you what I've walked in. Don't waste your time. Tell your neighbor, don't waste your time. Think, yeah, I'm to cover many ground. I pray for anointing, I pray for my house, I pray for my car, I pray for my future, I've covered many things. Follow after God. Tell your neighbor, follow after God. You know what we're going to do now? You know when I lose people to pray, I lose them to pray, and you'll pray where? you first of all going to hope on your heart. And we will practice this prophetic prayer that I just spoke about. You will pray in tongues, but you will open your spirits. Is someone listening to me? That's why I don't understand how you will pray in tongues and plug earphones on your phone. I don't understand it. It's so much noise. What is wrong with a generation that just like noise? How can you hear God? The thing is blasting. A channel of my spirit. What is wrong? You now say, I've done seven hours. I've done ten hours. But what did he say? What did he tell you? What did you learn about yourself? What did he reveal to you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Are you following? Stand on your feet. Look for a place. 
raise your right hand up to God and say Holy Spirit help me in the place of prayer to pray according to your will from today share your mind expressly with me I know what is in the heart of God I know what he's saying concerning every matter I am lifted promoted to the height and the realm of God amen can you pray in tongues no 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 I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not saying you should start can you can you pray in tongues? if you cannot pray in tongues raise your hand there are two hands at the back just go and lay hands on them wherever they are and then let them start speaking in tongues there's no waste we don't there's no it's one of the most basic raise your hand very well people are coming to you now Evala shumbe kalada emi adabash ebeli adabash evana na no shenga ema adabash ebeli adabash now begin to pray in the spirit sir and let your hearts be open let your heart be open mekero bashika talika tabatu ali adabash i have some prayer points but i just want you to just go into god just go deeper just go deeper evrata valev la koko bali balabado Anamano mane mana mane mana mane kada bate bala bale braba shakata Evano no frande de de frakate bali bala bare bala bade bada badosha E kada bale kata ba samba de le plaka te bala badasha E brado veli ada valo frekete te bala bada bada badasha E mrakosa kata e ki ala taketi ada dasha wa E brakata bale bala bada 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 badasha E brakosa kata ya kada kada bada bada Come on Sachin come on come on come on Makosi ke li tala from bali bala badosha bata you don't have to always pray in tongues when he gives you an understanding you can just say it out when he gives you a word you can just say it out you can just call it out makaporu katabata basata ya e makoko vali katabata ba e brakala kaye kaya katabata bada ba o mrakate vala vade vala vada vada badasha e mrakata vale vala vade vala vadasha abrako zakata katabata balada e mrako le vala vale vala vada badasha e mrako zakata Ke tu la kata 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 basa bata e brata tata vara bata bali ha e le kata bata 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 bali ha e mrako uja kata e ba 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 le ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba e mrako le ba la ba la ba la ba la ba shata e mrako zuke li ha aroke te li ba la ba shakata ha someone is receiving instructions someone is receiving a word from God now a kata kata ba e mrako ba la ba la ha e bra ba ba le ba la ba shata e mrako uja kata E gata kata kata bali bala bashata umra de de bala bale bra bale bala badasha somebody here god is bringing to you a picture a picture of your tomorrow that's your helpmate that's your helpmate come on begin to pray begin to pray karata ba e bala 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 bashata e da 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 ba e bra bala 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 bashata come on azano zana na 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 no samra da ba da ba e bra da ba da ba da ba da ba da basha e mra da ba da ba da ba da ba da basha E bala 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 ba. E kaso vali bala vulu bala bala. Ore kata bali bala 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 bala. E mrakale bala ba. It's building up. It's building up. It's building up. Let your desperation go up. It's building up. Akaya kaya da patuli. E gratole kaya da ya. E kedo do kata koto kata. E brakoto bata bata bata. E re bala 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 bala. Asakata ya. E kata bata basha ba. E brakale la bala bata ba kabosha i speak to your ears efata 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 mako pa ya kapaka tu e katale katavata bali ha emra koko bali bala barash emra dole kasa vata ya ebra papa bala 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 ebra la bala 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 ba god is taking someone here on a journey on a journey on a journey to your yesterday on a journey to your yesterday you can see what's 
past that problem. You can see it now. You can see it now. Begin to fix it. Begin to fix it. Ayadaya, ayadaya. Oh me, data bata, likata bata, ebrakata bata bata, beliata ba. Oh no, no brata. E kabada bata bata ba. That's the fire of God. It's falling already. Atama, 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 atama. Oh koto poto poto. Oh kapoto poto poto. Oh kapoto poto poto. Oh kapoto poto poto. Aya, aye ba ya, aye ba ya. Abrakata ba ya, ebraba ya ba ya ba. E koso koto koto koto. Akato koto koto koto. Alakaya kaya. E grada ba da ba da ba. E maso pali. Ale palo, are palo, are palo. Aya ya 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 ya. E brada ba ra ba sha. A so 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 ba la. E brala ba le ba la ba da ba dosh. Come on. Let your spirit, uh, let it connect with the Lord of all spirit. Uh, hey, hey, my yada pakuta baya. Whatever limit your parents will not limit you. Hey, baro bala kachaya ba. The potombo shachaya. There is no one in this auditorium uh, afraid of death. Uh, there is no afraid of death. Uh, Oh yeah, fix it now. Oh yeah, fix it now. Fix it now. Fix it now. Ay 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 E ba ye ba ya, o mi kele ba la, o ne 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 mana, e mra ba ba le ba la ba. There is a people, a people burning for God, a people burning for God. Arosa ta, arosa ta, e ba la ta 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 ta, e ka ba la ba la ba la ba la. All over this building, let the fire of the Lord, let it fall, let it fall. You came to this auditorium as a core member. Aya aku e te. God said to tell you, God said to tell you, whatever has been limiting your joy, aya, 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 it's broken now, it's broken now. Ah, hey, Anamo. Hey, Anamo. Hey, my Anamo. Hey, my Amano. Snippet. Snippet. I drop it in the heart of God's people. Snippet. Snippet. I drop it in the heart of God's people. We have not come to a mountain that cannot be touched. We have not come to meet with man. We have come to the King of Kings, the only one of Israel, El Eloi Israel, the Lord of Ages, the Lord our God, the Rock of Ages. Arabayada, e parada baya, e kada bata ba, ele mala ele mala boshide ya bara, ele maya na me ye bo ye baya, e kuku doko 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 doko, o doko 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 doko. Hey, it's time to fix that addiction. It's time to fix that addiction. I have a shot. I have every spirit of pornography, every spirit of masturbation under the sound of my voice. In La Copa Lataya, I hold you bound and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Come on, come on, Parashata, he who the sun set free, is free indeed. Welcome to freedom, welcome to liberty, welcome to freedom, welcome to liberty. You have five more minutes, five more minutes. Five more minutes. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. The fire is burning. Hey! Hey! Ay 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 ay! Hey! Bala 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 bala. Hey! Bala 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 bala. Hey! Se be de be de be de. Hey! Bala 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 bala. Hey! If your glory, oh God, if 
it is a waterfall, let it be an avalanche. If it be fire, let it be raging. Let it be raging. Let it be wildfire. Let it be raging. Come on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They told you that thing cannot be soft. Oh, you have come to the everlasting mountains. You have come to the mountain of deliverance. You have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the great king. You have come to the company of just men made perfect. A solution has come. I says God tonight. I says God tonight. I says God tonight. Hey, para para para. Hey para para bash. Hey para para bash. Hey de bodo bodo bosh. Hey para de bodo bodo bosh. Hey para para de bosh. Hey, let your glory fall, O God. Parata poshata, e pe 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 lita basata, e koko tu kalata, e dere basata. Ha 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 ha! Aya ya ya The devil is in trouble tonight. The kingdom is advancing tonight. There is an event that we are rising tonight. Hey, Balata Yabaya. Hey, Baba Baba Labaya. Hey, Kata Bata Baya Madaba. Every Bada Bata. Hey, Bada Bata. Say to it. Ay, 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 ay. Say to it. Whatever it brings up in your spirit, say to it. The devil is not permitted here. The devil cannot bring anything. Whatever comes to your mind, say to it. Say to it. Tonight. 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 name we are prayed there is a God who is clothed with fire our first prayer point tonight I don't know what dimension you want to take if you want to kneel you can kneel if you want to lie down you can you are going to say Lord I lie down on my bed today and I say yes clothe me with that fire clothe me with your robe of fire if it's bigger it's okay if it's heavy it's okay if it makes me fall, it's okay. You are going to say, Lord, rub me with your fire. Let me be enclosed with your fire. 
When they see me, let them see nothing but your fire. A yabaro shooter, a kamata pa shooter, yeah. Play, 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 play. chapter 2 verse 22 very quickly Agai 2 22 on the screen very quickly want to settle something tonight the Bible says I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms I will destroy the strength of the Gentile kingdoms I will overthrow the chariots and those who ride in them the horses and their riders shall come down everyone by the sword of his brother you are going to pray tonight it's a very simple prayer listen very closely I want you to pray the way God said it to me. 
every being, every spirit made or created who is sitting in the place of God in your life, you overthrow them now in the name of Jesus. You unleash even the overthrowing power of God. And you overthrow, you overthrow, you overthrow the kingdoms of darkness, whether they be demons, whether they be devils, it's not your problem. Just overthrow them, overthrow them, overthrow them. Come on, overthrow them, whatever it is, whatever it is. Marka Shatter, any addiction, any addiction, any addiction taking the place of God, any obsession taking the place of God. Ay, 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 come on.
without the music i want to give you one minute to press in every addiction every pain every system that has overthrown god every worldly obsession i break that yoke of pornography i break that yoke of poverty i break that yoke of barrenness i break that yoke of barrenness i break that yoke of limitation come on I see chains falling. I see chains falling. I see chains falling. I see chains falling. Ayabaya. Can you see the angels? Can you see the angels? All around this place. Hey. 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 Can you see liberation now? That's it. That man is just been freed. That's it. That's it. That's the power of God. Atubata batubata ba. Eprata batubata ba. Eprata batubara ba. Ayayaye ba yata. Zana na na mana 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 asha. You do business like you don't know how to do it. Something has grown and is seated in the place of God. Tonight, overthrow, overthrow. He said, I will overturn. I will overturn unto him whose right it is. It's your rights. It's your privilege. Come on. I see the fragrance. I see the fragrance going up. Higher. Higher. And when prayers go up, earthquake happen on the earth. I see I see that displacement. I see that displacement of that family background. Whatever it is. Higher. 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 Fire. Miracle worker, come and do your miracle, your miracle tonight. You will do your miracle, your miracle tonight. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Hey, Amanama Shimbalabara. Miracle worker, hey, Amanama Chain Breaker. Men and no, 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 somebody, Balabaro, Shambalero, no, Satire. Come and do your miracle, your miracle today. Yanamash, Yerevos, Ebalabala, Balabala, Balove, Shiki, Devolos. You will do. You have done your miracles, your miracles today. You have done your miracles, your miracles tonight. You have done your miracles, your miracles tonight. You have done your miracles, your miracles tonight. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Let me tell you a secret. Until you hear the sound of victory, don't stop praying. There is a travail in this house. A bringing forth. Please, very quickly, without much ado, Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Isaiah 58, verse 12. Yamano Shambale. Bible says, those from among you, hey, they are here tonight. They will build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. And you shall be called the repairer of the bridge and the restorer of the paths to dwell in. 
Your prayer is small tonight. Father, use me now. In this generation, as the repairer of bridges, as the restorer of the paths to dwelling, as the raiser of many foundations and generations, use me tonight. Anoint me tonight. Set me on fire tonight. The fire that repair bridges, bridges in the world of, 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 of in the world of finance, bridges in the world of academics. Jesus, oh God, Kataba Shatai, empire me tonight, anoint me tonight, a palapalapaya, in the world of music, in the world of the prophetic, in the world of finance, in the world of grace. Come on. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. Whatever, whatever has been the old waste places in your family, in your lineage. You are building them. You are building them. You are building them. Stop this prayer. Listen, you don't understand. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. Listen, there are generations that there are waste places. There are lineages that nobody has ever bought a car. There are lineages that nobody has ever graduated. There are lineages uh, that nobody has become richer. Uh. There are lineages uh, that people only struggle. You Bible says you will be called uh, the restorer of parts of dwelling. Uh, you are going to say, Lord, uh, from me, uh, a restoration has come. Uh, para, 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 uh, come on, uh, come on. Uh, para, 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 Tonight, hey, la, 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 la. come on, come on, hey, ba, ya, ba, ya, ba, ya, ba, ya, ba. Hey, ba, la, ba, la, ba, la, ba, la, ba. You are raising a foundation tonight uh, for many generations. Uh, you are raising a foundation tonight uh, for many generations. Uh, you are raising a foundation tonight uh, for many generations. Uh,
God, if not here, when? I need a Jacob who will say, Lord, you bless me now. A foundation is erected tonight. A transgenerational foundation at this altar. At this altar. At this altar. Now, yeah, at this place, at this time, even now, even now, even now. Raise a foundation of generations. Let your family be thankful. Let your generation be thankful. Raise a foundation. A lady told me, he said, my first sister waited seven years before admission. My other sister, seven years. This is my seventh year. Ah! Ah! Oh, coco, caca, coco, caca, boto. I shake it away. Everything that does not have a foundation in God, I shake it away. Everything that does not have a foundation in God, I shake it away. of many generations. Oh, top attire. Tonight, I raise foundations of many generations. I raise foundations of righteousness. I raise foundation of holiness. I raise foundations of prosperity. I raise foundation of fruitfulness. I raise foundation of help. I raise foundation of glory. I raise foundation of being on top. I raise it now. I raise it now. I raise it now. The TPT says, you will be known as repairers of the cities and restorers of communities. Everything that has eaten deep into your family. Hey, I believe we are not here. A baby cuckoo lataya. A boru shatayaba. Tonight. Tonight. I visit Ilori. Tonight. I visit Ola. Tonight. I visit Ibada. I visit call that city. Call that community by name. Visit that foundation. Where the fire of God displays overturn and race, 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 race. Are you raising a foundation of, of peace, of joy, of blessing? Come on! Higher! 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 The beauty blocks is prayer. The beauty blocks is your word. Because you came, no more struggle in that generation. We are not praying small prayers. It's a generational blessing. 
Ayana Mokwe Ketia. Because you contacted God today. Ahadamo Yaba. Ebelika Labatwe Tetia. Your generation serves the Lord. Aya. 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 I'm done negotiating with the devil. I'm done negotiating with the old covenant. I make a new covenant. I make a new covenant. Tonight, make a new covenant. If your fathers made a covenant, you to make another one. Make another one tonight. Make another one tonight. Aya, aya, aya. just ran out of you now. That thing just ran out of you right now. Aye! So Jerusalem they shall never hold their peace day or night you will make mention of the Lord do not keep silence 
Give me 52 verse 8, Isaiah. Give me 52 verse 8. 52 verse 8. The Lord has sworn by his right hand. 52, 5 to 8. 5 to 8, 52 verse 8. Your watchmen shall lift up their voices. With their voice they shall sing together. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord brings back Zion. Hey, my adults. Give me Jeremiah 31 verse 6. Jeremiah 31 verse 6. For there shall be a day when the watchmen will cry on Mount Zion. <laughs> okay, sorry. On Mount Ephraim. Arise! Let us go to up to Zion. To the Lord our God. We made a cry and you came tonight. Listen. The prayer point is simple. Lord, make me a watchman for my own. Make me a watchman for my family. Make me a watchman for your church. Make me a watchman for your nation. Make me a watchman. Are you praying? Many houses are in trouble because men are sleeping. Many families are in trouble because you slept. Lord, make me a watchman. Wake me up. Wake me up. Make me a watchman. Azana Zanana. E bala 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 bashete aboro bale kalataye da valua make me a watchman for my family for my church for my nation for my pastor for my church for my home for my wife for my children for my family make me a watchman for my parents asata da 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 bata basha aya baya 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 ba do not give him rest. Let the watchman not give him rest. They are nights. They are nights. Ayabaya. Ebayabayaba. Asule, Asule. Come on. It is finished. 
you will stand on your word. Watchman, you will stand on your word. The devil will no longer run riots in that family, in that church because you are there. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. If you can rise, stand on your feet. Raise your right hand up to God. God will touch you now. God's supernatural power will touch you now. God will touch you now. Feel my cup, Lord. Lift it up, Lord. Give Come us. and quench this thirsting of my soul. God is moving now. Right now, right here. The tangibility of God. The fire of God. There's a sensation you are feeling now. From the sole of your feet. It's just coming up. Who is that person? It's just coming now. It's getting there. Yes, yes, that's it. That's that person now. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just wait on God. That's it. Aha. All over this building. That's it. Yes. Yes. Holy Spirit, we do not want to contain you. Just move. Quicken your people. Let your tangibility now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Aha. 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 Hey, I see the fire rolling in from the back. It's rolling in now. Hey, Yanama. Hey, Yanama. Hey, Yanama. Ah, Yanama. Aha. 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 Daddy. Daddy. I ask for the cloud of glory. I ask for the cloud of glory. Let it move in. Yes. 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 That's it. That's it. Aha. 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 Ah, your money. Ah, your money. Ah, your money. Hey, your money. Ah, my money, my money, my money, my money, my money. The river is here. The river is here. I'm gonna drop into that ocean. The river is here. The river is here. The river is here. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on. Tapa, 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 tapa. Tapa, 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 tapa. Hey, tapa, 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 tapa. Ah, tapa, 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 tapa. I just see that angel. Is coming from the right side of his hall. And he's the one who is opening the wind. Now the wind of the spirit. Blow! That's it. That's it. That's it. Aha. Aha. You can feel it now. Yes. It's not a bean, but you can see. That's it. Aha. 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 E na ma 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 na ma. E ga na ma na ma na ma na ma. That's it. If you are sick anywhere in your body, or you are finding it difficult to have the fruit of the womb, you can touch your belly now. 
They can touch your belly now. There is a translation of power. There is a translation of power. Wherever you are sick, if you can touch it, touch that flesh now. Touch that flesh now. Every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of barrenness, every deaf and dumb spirit, every spirit of spiritual blindness, I hold you bound and I cast you out now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let the healing anointing, let it flow. Let it flow. If you are under the sound of my voice, you can lift that hand. Just put it on your belly. And begin to blast tongues now. Just blast tongues now. Yakaka porupa la That hand that's touched God is touching your belly. Something is ignited. Something is ignited. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ayaba. Hey. When Zion prevailed, he brought forth. Yes, leave it, leave her, let her go. Lose her, let her go. You demonic spirit, lose her, let her go. Parosh, yes, yes. Aya, 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 Fornication, masturbation. Let him be your let him be your obsession. a call here. Now listen to me. And only this set of people should come to the front. Listen carefully. Please listen. If you believe and you know that God is calling you to much more prayer. Not for yourself. Much more intercession. God is calling you as a watchman. You believe it because this is a confirmation. As I was preaching, it was burning in your spirit. Just come to the front now. I hope you know as you come, you 
you are going to do kini kan pray na but you are going to pray e lima na mo shaba e e listen to this call again i am not asking you if you love to pray if you love to pray go back if god is saying pray more for yourself go back i am saying that god is calling you into the office of intercession to stand at the wall for his church for this church for the church in this nation for the church in the world for your family come on <laughs> some already jumping down evidences evidences as you stay in front just begin to pray in tongues something will drop on you pfm 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 i call you three times you'll be coming hey na ma so pila pale happy as a tire ay 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 the fire the fire of god we install you to that office i install you to that office there is no installation without fire hey ay 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 if you are in the auditorium begin to pray for yourself your prayer altar receive fire your prayer altar receive fire ata ta ta ba ta ba apara pa ta ba shaba eh eh lord let it drop on them let the fire of god let it let it drop on them let it drop on them more 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 the tangibility of god ay 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 abasha ay 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 abasha e para e para e para e para yes ata basha bala abala bala bala let the wind of god let it take over let the wind of god let it take over let the wind of god let it take over asa basha ba Asaba saba Asaba saba Abayana Ebayana Ebara la bash Jesus Abaya Ebaya Abaya Come on Ay 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 Too much fire 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 Too much fire, too much fire. Hey, sha, 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 ba. Hey, ba, la, ba, la, ba, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, la, ba, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha. Ba, ba, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha. Hey, ma, la, ma, la, ma, la, ma, la, ma, la, ma. Only you, only you. When you pray, heaven answers. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha. Hey, ba, la, ba, sha. Aya, come on. Come on. More. More. Come on. Let the deep in you arise. Kabash. 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 Madash. 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 Let you burn. 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 Esa pataba. Epa saba. Epa saba. Burn. Burn. You came for fire. Be on fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Yes. And in the end of me, stop. Come on. Come on. Yes. Aba shaba lava. Hey ba la ba la ba. Hey ya ba. Take him. Take him. Oh you can get. Oh you can get. Hey sana ba na ba na ba. Hey ba na ba na ba na. Ay ya ba da ba da ba. You pray from today. You pray from tonight. You pray from today. Asaba saba go to Elia. Hey. 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 Let the fire burn. Ay ya ba ya ba ya ba ya ba. Hey ba da ba da ba da ba. Ayaba, 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 ayaba
been placed on you. Come to the front. Your hand has not been placed on you. Leave her. Leave her. I 
standing here is not a real mind. And I know, listen very carefully to me. And I know some of you are in drama, music. I don't know how many, but how, many, how many of you want to sing? Everybody just singing. I know some of you. But tonight, you know your right place. So you go back to your churches. And you are going to tell them, I'm joining intercessory now. Now listen, if you are a member of Energized Church or a member of Rema Chapel, which means you are a member of Rema Chapel or may mean that you are a member of Rema Chapel, before you go, everybody that we have laid hands on, I don't know what church you've come from, they will get you a paper, a pen, they are going to write down your name and your phone number. But to start your work in essence, if you're a member of Rema, you will meet me here on Tuesday by 5 o'clock. I am a Aha! I hear you. Eh, 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 Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. 5 p.m. I don't care whether you're a core member. I don't know whether you have not prayed for two hours before. You will come here. 5 p.m. of Tuesday. As we begin to change things. Aliale Makushi. E vine sumbru kwiki yadaba. E leba yadabasha. On Sunday. We will gather again, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. We will bat systems. I'm not saying we will change systems. We will bat systems. 
Actually, I feel like praying. <laughs> Raise your voice. Raise your voice. In a man, make a by a rabbi live, la by a marada by a kayarabash. In an anoma, in a mass, a jetty yarabash, a galeva yarabasha. A banana nomra, caleva labadom, a kayarabosha. A dabaleva yarabosha, get the yarabosha, get the yarabosha. A balabadosha, got a balabalo, believe a labadosha. A banana nom, banana nos. A banana no, banana no, some baleva labados. E bata 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 ba E bata 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 ba E bata 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 ba E bata 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 ba E bata 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 Listen to me. This holy ordination was called because of you. If you do not pray, your destiny and ministry will not be battered. There is time for a fireful company. And that's what we want to do. After we get your names, it's possible we divide you to groups. And we'll be there holding forth with you praying with you and then we'll begin to call upon God and whoever whosoever God answers by fire see he will be the Lord see he will be the Lord see he will be the Lord are you listening to me are you listening to me so please you will see him. you will see them there will be list at the door at the door all of you in front, just write your name. Don't go because we will take that name and first of all invest prayer in it. Look at me, your destiny can never remain the same. You thought you came to church, no. You came for an encounter. Is someone listening to me? If our fathers call upon God and saw what they saw, it is time for us to do the same. You will rise and pray. Are you literally, are you with me? If you have joined a department, you are just doing drama, they are, you are helping them to set up like, all this equipment. Tell them you are not doing it. You are not doing it. Abi, we are not doing it. Destiny call it. Life call it. Life call it. Purpose call it. Work tomorrow. We still go to office. The, lamp, the names are going around. Let another one come from the back. Jajotai, Jajotai, TRD Jota, be thinking people. Kai, let list come out. I will close this meeting now. Normally, we do not close our service without giving an opportunity to give to God. But on a night like this, there will be basket at the back. Basket here. Don't just take my money away. So I told somebody like that. And then he woke up. Can't sleep through the night. Because motive you alone or hotelly. Drop my money. Drop our offering. It is God's offering. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Let's close this service. And so to the King Eternal.
immortal, invisible, the only one who is wise. Thank you for what you have begun in this ministry. Thank you for what you have begun in the life of your people. Thank you, God, for covenant caught with you tonight. Thank you for installation. Thank you for fire. Thank you for baptism. I ask that as they go, let your fire burn further. Let your fire rain deeper. Let there be increase. Let there be more. Pray for everyone who came to pray. I declare that whatever is said to this permanence. And I declare that the foundations of many generations has been raised here tonight. Raised in righteousness. Raised in holiness. It's not going down. Thank you, Father. If I continue, the power of the Lord is so strong. Even me, I almost fall down. So, what's it to? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody. Hold the person by the hand. This is how we close tonight. Hold the person by the hand. I'm praying in tongues for two minutes. Oh, yeah, begin. Oh, yeah, begin. I will tell you when two minutes is over. Ah, yeah, na ma 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 Hey man, I'm a 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 man. Hey, she got a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. Hey, ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. Hey, get, get, get. Hey, ball, a 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 ball. Hey, ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. Hey, ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. Hey, guy, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. A ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. Eva ra ba de ba ya ba ye ba ya ba Ha ha ba ya ba ye ba ya ba ye ba ya ba E se ba ya ba ye ba ya ba Ha ba ya ba ye ba ya ba E ka ya ga ye ba ya ba de ba da ba Ha ba da ba de ba da ba de ba da ba de ba da ba Ha ba da ba de ba da ba de ba da ba Ha ba da ba de ba da ba Thirty seconds to go. Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The Lord go with you. Lord go, with you. go forth and prosper. We meet again next week 4 p.m. Don't forget to come. It's going to be fireful. We're having a guest, Mr. Pastor. is preaching. And it's going to be fireful. Come next week. Bring a friend. Bring somebody. If you have not written your name, don't go. 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 Don't go.